Hi, this is Rodney Walker, and welcome to Get Funded, the show that helps you to get funded. Get funded for what? To get funded with your grant proposal so that you do a much better job of presenting a strong case. On today's show, I'm going to be sharing with you three of the top things that nonprofit organizations do to block themselves from getting funded. Now, why would you want to do that? I'm also going to be sharing with you some tips from yours truly, Cinderella. And we're going to find out some of the three things that you need to do to prepare a better presentation with your proposals. But first, I want to take you to three of my friends that I recently worked with in Dallas to hear what they had to say in regards to the grant writing that gets funded workshop that I recently conducted. Here's what they had to say. Rodney, thank you so much for your insightful workshop. Um, you gave a thorough overview of what grant writing is all about from beginning to end. You're so intriguing and keep the energy up. I never would have thought that I could have sat through two full days of a workshop um, regarding grant writing, but I would do it all over again tomorrow. So thank you um, for your inspiration um, and your coaching and guidance. And I feel geared to go and um, set to raise the funding needed to inspire others this has been the most amazing training I've been to. I've always wanted to know how to write grants, and now I know I have all the tools in my tool belt to go and begin raising the funds for the causes that I care about. I think so many people who want to make a difference don't have the tools that they need and they feel overwhelmed by grant writing. When you come to this training, you're going to get every step you need, step by step, to be able to help you get the funds needed for your organization. You can make a lasting difference by coming to this training. So make the investment in yourself and in your future by choosing to come to this grant writer training. Rodney, I came all the way from Wichita Falls and I learned so much from your class. Thank you so much for your awesome, awesome teacher. Thank you. Oh, that was just so nice. I enjoyed working with you guys too. Thank you for the kind words and I look forward to being back in Dallas, Texas on June the 3rd and on the 4th for some more dynamic training. So what are those three things that nonprofit organizations do to block themselves from getting funded? Well, I'm gonna share it with you right now. The number one thing, drum roll please, is a lack of preparation. Did you know that the government gives out billions of dollars every year and foundations do likewise? However, many nonprofit organizations are not prepared because they haven't taken the time to make the proper preparation. I wanna encourage you not to fall into that trap. The second thing that they do is there's a lack of, drum roll please, there's a lack of knowledge. Number of organizations oftentimes are not prepared and they don't know what they need to do in order to prepare a successful proposal. Which brings us to the final one, and that is a lack, drum roll please, of focus. You're gonna get the funding, especially grant funding, you gotta be focused and gotta get a game plan, a plan of action. So don't let these lacks keep you from getting funded or you may lack and go under so what are those important lessons that we can learn from goldilocks i mean from cinderella well here they are if you're going to get funded you must make sure that you do these three things first you've got to make sure that you put your best foot forward that means preparing a proposal that is well written and well designed the second thing that you've got to do is you've got to pique the interest of the prince. Who's the prince? The prince is the funder, the one who's giving out the moolah, the money. We want to pique their interest. We want to wow them with our proposal to the point where they say, oh, wow, what a dance. They look at our proposal and say, yes, we want to engage with this project. And third, we want to make sure that the funders that we're pursuing, just like in Cinderella with the prince and Cinderella, we want to make sure that the ones that we're pursuing, that it is a great fit. We, want, we don't want to try to put a size eight shoe on a size nine foot. It may be a tight squeeze. If we can learn these lessons from Cindy, you'll be well on your way to preparing a winning proposal that actually gets funded. 
I want to thank you for taking a moment to watch on today, and I want to invite you to join me for Wednesday's webinar, the Get Funded webinar that's going to help you to get funded. And remember to subscribe to this channel. It will be a worthwhile investment into you. So go ahead and do it right now. Like right, like right now. I mean like a for real right now. And I'll see you next time. Take care.